this case, we have A, B, C, D, E warehouses. We use two measures. One is the number of employees. The other is the number of orders processed. In this particular case, we want to minimize the number of employees and maximize the number of orders processed. Therefore, employee is treated as category 1 measure and the number of order processed is treated as category 2 measure. In this case, the composite measure is just a ratio of the number of order processed by the number of employees. And if you look at this picture, you know warehouse C and E are the best practices. All the other warehouses, A, B, and D, they are not efficient. The composite measure is a ratio of orders by employee and represents the performance or efficiency of each warehouse. In this particular example, there is only one measure in category 1 and one measure in category 2. Therefore, there is no need to build the Excel model to determine the weights and to decide which warehouses are efficient. We can add three additional performance metrics for the laptop selection problem. For example, the average customer rating, total number of customer reviews, and the ranking of the processes. Now, in our case, uh, we use a 1 to 5 scale, 5 being the best. We need to group them into either category 1 or category 2 measures. In this particular case, we say that we will prefer a laptop that has a higher average customer rating, a laptop with a higher total number of customer reviews, and of course a laptop with a higher ranking of the process. Therefore, we put them into category 2 measures. Now, I want you to think about the ranking of the processes. In this case, we use the 5 being the best. What if we use 1 being the best and 5 being the worst? Would you still group this particular measure, ranking of processes, as a category 2 measure? You can build different models by using a different combinations of category 1 and category 2 measures. And you can compare the results to see how their efficiency or the composite measures or their ratios change over different models. And from that, hopefully, you can gain some insights.